Oh, come on, Rex. Let's go get some tea. tonight my new dress what color is it black what are you wearing I don't know yet I was gonna wear my leather skirt Brad it's more like a wide belt than a skirt I can't now though I've got a kick on my leg looks like a love bite wouldn't be the first You're good up there <laughs> <laughs> hello mrs. ready hello Kate how did you get on we won 5-1 well done she was brilliant I'll see you later okay and if you're not wearing your leather skirt, I'll borrow it. <coughs> One. got everything. Good first touch. Two feet. Good shot. I tell you, she was in a different class than the boy I went to look at. So what is she? Six foot two, legs like a Russian weightlifter. She bloody isn't. You should see her. I get it. You fancy her. Yes. And so would you if you saw her play. She's better than most of this lot. It'd be embarrassing, man. She'd be completely outclassed. No way. I tell you, she'd put a goal past our lads. You want to bet on it? Yeah. How much? A hundred. You're on. that was lucky as well yeah well well the lads were laying off her they don't want to hurt the girl if it was a real match where there was something at stake then you see the difference morning Eddie oh, morning great. Victor Eddie uh, I'm holding a reception at the executive lounge next Wednesday evening and let a few of the players there is that possible yeah fine no problem Good. what's this that's Archie's latest find Best thing since Maradona, you reckon? All right. We had a little bet, see how she'd fare with the lads. Seems to be holding her own. Yeah, she's not bad. For a girl. So cater for about 40, make it a bit special, smoked salmon, champagne. We want to make a good impression. No quiche, for God's sake. We can wheel it out for the supporters club at the end of the season. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, George. Hello. Hi. We nearly bumped into each other in the gym. I'm Victor Grace. I know. I'm a Swift supporter. Oh, good. Very impressive in there. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, God, it was terrific. Hard work, though. It's a lot faster than I'm used to. Well, it didn't look like it. Uh, what's your name? Roxanne Reddy. Well, Roxanne, do you think you'll come back and play with us again? I don't think there's much chance of that. Why not? I don't know. I just didn't think Eddie Lang liked me that much. Eddie? Oh, he's all right. Under that gruff exterior, it beats a heart of pure stone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you fancy a spot at lunch? Club restaurant's not too bad. No, thanks. I've got to get back to school. Wouldn't miss school dinners for the world. I'll see you. Bye. OK, bye. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, could I have your attention for a few moments, please? Thanks very much. Um, I'd like to thank you all uh, for coming along this evening to uh, support the launch of the new Brunswick Leisure Dome. It's without doubt the most uh, ambitious and exciting project I've been involved with so far. I believe that we've developed a unique recreational concept and the uh, facilities and range of activities under a single roof will make the Leisure Dome a, a world leader in the expanding leisure industry. So, um, thanks for your support and for sharing my dream. Thanks very much. Eddie, Eddie, that girl, um, Roxanne, who came down to the gym last week, she'd been back again. Yeah, she came down to the practice ground and played in a full-scale game. What happened? <laughs> well, I lost another hundred quid. You're kidding. She really can't play, though. Yeah, she's good. Archie was right, he always is. Would you sign her? Definitely. But I can't, can I? Hi, Bob. Yes, yeah, Victor Grace. I'm fine, thanks, and you? Oh, yeah, should be a good game. Can't be worse than last week's. Bet you're glad it was on the other channel, eh? <laughs> yeah, I know. I turned it over and watched Bridge in the River Kwai. I must have seen it 15 times. Listen, uh, Bob, um, how about an interview before the game or at uh, half time? Well, uh, this girl, uh, she's brilliant, apparently, according to Eddie. You know how critical he is. No, 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 it's not about women's football. It's about women playing with men. Of course, I'm serious. Yeah, I know it's against the rules, I know all that, but it could be an interesting debate, get people talking. Anyway, uh, look, I've got to go now, uh, Bob. Uh, have a think about it and I'll call you tomorrow. OK, bye. <laughs> Roxanne. Hello. Hop in, I'll give you a lift home. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> what are you studying? English geography and economics. Geography, eh? Well, you'll always know where you're going. <laughs> Second left. And what are you going to do when you leave school? Going to university. Forget my grades. Let me put something to you. How'd you like to be a footballer? What do you mean? There isn't any woman's professional football in this country. No, no, I don't mean women. I mean men. How'd you like to play for the Swifts? Can I? It's against the law. I can't even play for the school team, never mind the Swifts. I'm just here's fine. Suppose the law was changed, what would you say then? When I was little, I used to be the mascot for the Swifts. I loved it running out with the players, kicking about on the pitch. I used to dream of being a footballer when I grew up. I never wanted to be anything else. All right, everyone, you have two and a half hours. You may turn over your papers and start now. But don't you think the FA are correct? After all, football's a tough game. Well, I agree, but there are exceptions to every rule. But don't you think it's in the interests of the women themselves to play separately? A lot of women might be put off the game altogether at the thought of competing with men. Well, that's a separate issue, Bob. I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of women who are perfectly happy to play in single-sex teams, and I wouldn't want that any other way. But what I'm talking about is one girl who's good enough to play professionally. It seems absurd to me that someone who's good enough to earn a living in the game should be banned because of her sex. Victor Grace, thank Hello. you very much. Dave! Well, obviously, the, uh... Hello, yep. I just seen you walk on the telly. What's she done? 
Well, Victor Grace was talking about a plane for the Swifts. That's ridiculous. How can she? I didn't know she played football. Uh, yeah, she plays for Clifton Ladies' team. Oh. Well, weren't you a girl to play football? No, we used to call her Georgie Breast. <laughs> It's all exaggerated. I just went for a few training it sessions. It doesn't sound exaggerated all. to me when they're talking about it on the telly. And don't drink out of the carton. You've been training with the Swifts? But well, blimey, why don't you tell me? I'd come down and watch you if I would known. Yes, you would as well. That's all you think about. Mr Harrison asked where you were the other day. He asked me if you were ill. You've been missing school as well. You shut your face. At least you could have told me. My mum was furious. I thought you wanted to be a footballer. That's what you said. Well, I do. I oh, suppose I didn't take you seriously, that's all. It doesn't have to be a dream. It depends on you how much you want it. <laughs> I don't want to pressure you to anything you're unhappy with, but just you think if you make it, you'll be the first woman professional in the football league. Do you want to throw that away? No. OK. I... Well, let's get on with it then. I don't see much hope of getting it through the house, though. It's bound to be someone on the other side with an old score to settle, ready to talk it out. I know, I've done it myself. What's your parliamentary majority, Tim? Just under 2,000, why? And about 50% are women, right? Yeah, enough. So it's not going to do you any harm in the next election to be seen as a champion of women's rights now, is it? I hear what you're saying. And even if you don't get it through, think of the publicity. It's priceless. Yes. All right, Victor, I'll see what I can do. Terrific. By the way, have you uh, renewed your season ticket yet? No, not yet. Forget it. There will be one on the post tomorrow. This is News Nationwide at 7 a.m. There was uproar in Parliament last night when a sensational bill to allow women to play league football was talked out by opposition MPs. Conservative MP Mr Tim Ayling, who proposed the bill, said he was bitterly disappointed and that discrimination against women in sport, as in any other field of activity, was totally unacceptable. The issue has been raised by the crusading efforts of Victor Grace, chairman of EPR Football Club, in his campaign to sign a promising schoolgirl footballer, Roxy Reddy. Earlier, a spokesman for the Football Association refused to comment on the matter. And we understand that the emergency meeting is still going on. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Grace is just leaving. Perhaps we've reached a decision. Any news yet, Mr. Grace? Uh, not yet. The meeting's still going on. Well, let's just look at your arguments. I'm very clear here, certainly. Do you think you've managed to change their minds? Well, I don't know. You'll have to ask them that. Thank you, Mr. Grace. Judging by the size of today's demonstration and the growing campaign across the country, it appears that the Football Association is coming under increasing pressure to change the Well done. Hmm. What do you like, this girl? Brilliant. She's a tremendous prospect. I meant what she like as a person. Is she as attractive as her picture in the tabloid? Oh, yeah, she's got everything. Looks, talent. If I can pull this off, she'll be sitting in a gold mine. Mm. Good for her. I hope she makes it. Mm. How would you feel about being the only girl on a man's team? What about your boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you a lesbian? No, I have a boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend? What about your parents? What do they think about having a daughter who plays football? You have brothers or sisters? How many brothers have you got? Roxy, how did you have fam? I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah, I know. I watched a film on telly to not possibly. Morning. Hardly see each other. Guildford 
It's miles from Manchester. Miles and miles. I can see for miles, miles and miles. miles. We should have gone <laughs> to the same university. Done the same subject. Read the same subject. Right. You read subjects at university. Read the same subject. The same subject. Read the same subject and shared the same room. Oh, I, I can do it. Read the same subject and shared the same room. <laughs> shared the same. <laughs> <laughs> Read the same subject. <laughs> for a trial period. Hey, look. In a written statement, the chief executive of the Football Association said that in an era of rapidly increasing leisure and interest in football by women, it was felt that the relaxation of the rule would help both interest and participation at school level. It's planned to rescind the rule immediately. And <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? Nothing. What's the matter? It's all your fault. You and your football. Well, I didn't know things were going to turn out like this, did you I? You encouraged her. I didn't. I was just passing the time to be out of sun, that's all. Anyway, what's wrong with her being a footballer? She's brilliant. You should be proud of her. She'll be in the Guinness Book of Records. What a waste. The only book we had in our house was the rent book. She'd have had a degree. Respect. But you have respect if she's a footballer. Do you know how much they're paying? I don't care. I don't care how much they're paying her. Who wants a daughter who's a footballer? She'll be a freak. But it's what she wants to do. You're not thinking of Roxanne at all. You're thinking of yourself. It's you that wants to go to university, not her. Um, let's, let's go in here. It's about our Roxanne's affairs. Agents and that. We've been approached by him. He's certainly done well by you. That really is a fantastic view. Oh, I'm going to leave the door. What is it? It's from Sarah and Lisa. Don't worry, love. She'll come round to you in time. Better go. I'll be late for work. Now, you will be all right on your own. Of course I will. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll give you a ring when I get in from work. OK, thanks, Dad. See you soon. See you. Victor's found me this marvellous flat. It's so luxurious. It's like something out of a magazine. There's a jacuzzi in the bathroom, and the carpet in the bedroom must be about two foot thick. It's fantastic. It's a bit different to my old room at home. supposed to keep this lot now.
fancy. Keep it simple and keep it very direct. Now just play the way you're facing. Ten minutes, two touch. Off you go. Committee are not happy. They say that the access roads need widening to deal with the increased volume of travel. Well, can't we do that after it's finished? I'm afraid not. They insist that work must be completed before building commences. Oh, shit, I can't afford any more delays. Interest rates are bleeding me dry as it is. I still think we made a mistake signing that girl. The supporters don't seem to think so, Ronnie. It's a full house. And where's it going to end? They'll be in the boardroom if we're not careful.
finishing. She hasn't had a chance. Chance is there, you missed it. Look, she could have passed it out. Down. It's been quite an ordeal today, making history and all that. I was terrified. I wanted to be anywhere else in the world before that game started. <laughs> Your parents must be proud of you. Were they at the game? My dad and sisters were. Mum's not really interested in football, though. Look, if you need a friend, you know where to find me. Oh, thanks. I miss having someone to talk to. Mm. You look lovely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got to be 18 to get away with a dress like that. How can you be her agent? There's a conflict of interest there, surely. That's what I told her dad. But because I've brought her this far, found her a flat, you know, he feels he can trust me. Skid, she might get ripped off. Business side's got nothing to do with me, of course, unless it affects what she does on the park. That's what the girl's happy with, Count. Well, I can't do it. I don't have time to get involved in all that. No. Mind you, I suppose I could give it a try, or go to her father. Or... If it doesn't work out, we can always find somebody else. To this at all. I know what you mean, but there's no reason why she shouldn't play, really. No, it doesn't seem right. I agree, it does seem a bit funny, doesn't it? Must be worse for you. What do you mean? Well, Roxy playing in the same position as Greg. Greg won't want to be substituting every game. It's nice to see John taking care of her. I expect she'd be feeling lonely now they're playing away from home.
Building costs are up by 5%, and then Access Road delay didn't do us any favours. Plus, there is a balloon payment due at the end of the month. Well, the bank will just have to extend the loan, that's all. They'll have to. Here, sign this. Me? I wonder who the hell it is. Not your own name, you Wally. Paul Miles. He's the only one that's missing. Miles with a Y. What's it for? Oh, we're rattling it off for the paraplegic Olympics. payment. But you loved it. You were up for the project. We still are. But caution is king at the moment. We're buried in bad debt. Last year was the third world. Now it's property. There have been some badly burned fingers, Victor. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, we're working on a new plan. We're submitting an application for new offices and conference facilities and a hotel in addition to the Leisure Dome. Prime commercial development. We're not talking about Canary Wharf here, Jeff. I'm sorry, Victor. We've got money in half-completed businesses all over London. The building booms behind us. It's tight in the belt, time, I'm afraid. That girl, Roxy. Remarkable, really. More like a film star than a footballer. I wouldn't know Luton from Liverpool, but even I've started following football now. As a fish. Fantastic. Terrific. said to him, yeah. No, 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 we can figure that out. Oh, absolutely, it's, uh, it's uh, that's no problem. All right, let's go again, please. Okay, first positions, everybody. Absolutely quiet and turn over. Mark it. Mute board. Action. Oh. You okay? No, I think I better go and see Bob. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Oh, oh. dear. Oh, God. 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 What have you done? I think I sprained my ankle. Left or right? This one. Let's have a look. And don't worry, we'll get it sorted out. What happened? I twisted it when I jumped for the ball. Will she be fit for Saturday? I doubt it. If she turns it again, she could be out for weeks. Terrific! Look, I'm sorry. Can't wait for the press to phone in. Any problems, Eddie? Yeah, Roxy, sprain her ankle, advertising shampoo! Chapter 5. It's horrible when you're injured and you can't play. One side of you wants the team to win and another side of you wants them to lose. Because if they play well, then the manager might keep the winning team and you might not get your place back. You can't admit this, but I'm sure all players feel the same. Even though it's a team game, you're really playing for yourself when it comes down to it. Hi. 
Hi. How's it going? Fine. I should be fit for Saturday. Oh, good. That's good. Does it still hurt? No, it's all right now. You should apply for Bob's job. Yeah, the way things are going, I might have to. Sweet knees. <laughs> okay, that's enough. How's it feel? Terrific. Never felt a thing. No stiffness? No, nothing. Right. Next time, just make sure you don't slip on the bath soap that you're advertising. should know. I scored two goals and the next game I'm dropped. It was a tough decision. That's the way it goes sometimes. If I hadn't scored that second goal, we'd be out of the cup. Yeah, I appreciate that. But I can only put 11 names up and Roxy's done enough to regain her place. She is top scorer, Greg. Yeah, who with though, eh? What's that supposed to mean? Well, nothing. I didn't mean you, bosses. I don't care who you meant. Another crack like that and I'll kick you around the sodding room. <laughs> Roxy is judged on merit as a player, just like the rest of you. And if you want your place back, you fight for it. Test of a player is not when you're in the team, it's when you're out. Have you got the bottle to come back? A little present for you, full of little pricks, just like this changing room. Hey, what's going on? That's that little dickhead. Yeah, they jumped at the idea, but they want to do it right away, so we'll have to check the diary. But it's ridiculous. I can't even sing. Oh, don't worry. It'll be one of those rap records. Anyway, they can make anybody sound good these days. Thanks. Hey, what do you think? Oh, it's, uh, it's fabulous. Uh, definitely top of the pops. Can I come with you? What, to Milan? Why not? Well, you can't. You miss your training. It's only a couple of days. That's not going to make any difference, is it? Well, Roxy, I don't know. Oh, it... go on. It'll be good publicity. Please. Oh, well, I, I'm just thinking about Eddie. I, you know what he was like last time when you sprained your ankle? Yeah, but you're the real boss, though, aren't you? I mean, it's up to you in the end. God, you're gorgeous. Am I?
look at you. No? Ooh la la! It's friendship, fella. Come on, let's be having you. Let's get out on the track. Eh, hey, see you alive, Have you seen these pictures of Bellissima Roxy in Milano, huh? Oh, she is something, boss. Yeah, it's terrific. Well, fashion show's over. Let's go and do some work. è stato ritardato per nebbia. I passeggeri sono pregati di recarsi all'uscita numero 16 e attendere ulteriori informazioni. We regret that our Italia flight number 64322 London East Road has been delayed because of fog. Passengers are requested to report to gate number 16 and await further information. What's happened to the telegraph board? It used to be over there, next to AZ Motors. Where, where it says Cosmopolitan? Cosmopolitan, what's that? A woman's magazine. A woman's magazine? In place of the telegraph? Good God! Where's Victor? Good question, Mr. Radley. So look, on the free kicks, Gareth and Marco. Gareth, you step over the ball, and Marco, if you can chip it, chip it over the, over the wall. Sorry I'm late, the fog was awful. I'll get changed. Don't bother, you're not playing. What do you mean, why not? Why not? Do you really think you can turn up here with five minutes to go and expect to play when you've been gallivanting around Milan all week? I couldn't help the flight being delayed. You said I could go. Yeah, well, I didn't have a lot of choice, did I? You're in big demand these days. First you miss practice, and now you've got a job to make it for the matches. Well, I was ill. I had a cold. Yeah, well, I didn't see you holding a lot of damn tissues at the fashion show. Look, I'm running a football team here, not a bloody model agency. I'll see you later. Now, Fozzie, when it comes over, you've got to really attack it so that it hits over the far post where we've got Milesy and John coming in the back door, OK? return he made to the first team it certainly poses something of a problem for eddie lang will he restore his star striker roxy or retain thompson for the next game What did you expect me to do? The lad scored a hat-trick. He played well. Yeah, and what about me? Game in the reserves will do you good. It'll bring you back to earth. You think you can just walk into the team these days? You can't. Look, it's embarrassing. I'm not playing for the reserves. You're just picking on me. I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just picking the team. And if you're picked to play for the reserves, you'll play for the reserves. And if you pick to play for the youth team, you'll play for the youth team. And if you pick for the under tens, you'll play for them too, if I say so. Right? Because if you don't, you're out. 
star or no star, you're on your bike. Because no player, no matter how good they are, is bigger than this club. Is that understood? Concentrate on your left foot a bit. Well, Roxy. All right. What's the matter? I've been dropped. I'm playing for the reserves. Well, I suppose it was a hard decision. I mean, Greg's scoring a hat trick. You could hardly leave him out. I was the one who shouldn't have been left out. I was just being spiteful because I went to Milan. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Uh, Roxy, look, you know, I've been a scout for this club now for over 20 years. If I had as many pounds as matches I've watched, I'd be sitting beside a swimming pool in Spain. I found some good players. Some of them have done well. But in all that time, I never found a great player. And that's the scout's ambition to find just one great player. Bobby Charlton. Georgie Best. And that's what I felt when I saw you. The players either got that special something, or they haven't. I mean, you can make an ordinary player better, but you'll never make him great. It's not enough, though. It's what you do with it. And some players, they... They abuse their talents, they get sidetracked, flattered, you know, carried away with it all. All this and the advertising, that's not important. It's what happens out there that counts. Look at young Simon over there. What a nice lad. Listens, he works hard. Give his eye teeth for an ounce of your talent. As soon as her suspension's up, I want her back in the team, OK? Well, I can't guarantee that. She'll have to compete for a place like everybody else. I want her back in. She's a star. She doesn't want her punters come to watch. If you want to pick the team, pick a new manager. Eddie, hey, don't be silly. Me silly? You haven't seen this, have you? It's all a pack of lies. You know what they're like. They don't care who they hurt. Will you sue? Well, I haven't decided, uh... You don't believe this trash, do you? Yes, I do, actually. She owes everything to you. She adores you. She's young and attractive and you were flattered. Joanne, it was business. Don't! It's not as easy as that. Victor, Victor, give us a kiss. Victor, give us a kiss. 
us a kiss. Victor, Victor, give us a kiss. One Victor Grace. There's only one Victor Grace. I'm Victor Grace. Oh, just leave it out, will you? I'm sick of it. Yeah, yeah, leave it out, Thompson. You're a friggin' embarrassment, man. Oh, why? What's your problem? You want to get your leg over as well, do you? You bastards. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, break it, break it, break it. Just break a bit it. of tension, that's all. It's not going to be. You can leave the aggression for Saturday. OK. Round the pitch, sprinting and turning on the whistle. Go, everyone. Look, can Go. I see you later? I want a word. It must have been her who told the papers. Why? She knows one of the girls who modelled the clothes in Milan. You know the tall one, Clara Hutton. Oh, yeah, I know. I met her. Well, Greg said that Clara went round to Grace's room, and you were there, in bed. It doesn't prove it's her, though, does it? It's got to be Greg's wife. It'd hardly be Clara, would it? She's good friends with the Graces. There's nothing in it for her. Look, I'll see you tomorrow. Better come in. Now then, what do you want? As you can see, I'm busy. Why'd you do it? Do what? How much did they pay you? I don't know what you're talking Listen, about. Listen, don't try and bluff your way out of it. I know. I know you told the paper. I know the full story. Look, I know who told you. Do you want me to go through it and remind you? Now look what you've done. Look what I've done. It's you that's caused all this, not me. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to phone the papers and tell them who ratted on us. Now, that will be a story. Player's wife betrays teammate. Just wait till they get hold of that. Don't do that. Please. Why not after what you've done to me? Because Greg doesn't know. Oh, come on. Honestly, I told him about Clara and Frankie and the hotel, but he's no idea I phoned the paper. It'll destroy him if the other players find out. He'll never live it down. His wife fighting his battles for him and that. But why did you do it? What harm have I done to you? It's not you. It's the situation, the insecurity, moving from club to club. You were the last straw. Greg was really happy when the Swifts came in for him. We hated it in Newcastle. It was like the North Pole up there. It was terrific coming back to London. All my friends are here. That's how I know Clara. We used to work together. You were a model? Yeah. You wouldn't think so now, though, would you? Then you arrived. It's bad enough losing your place to a man, but a girl. You know what men are like. It was a blow to his pride. Look, I'm sorry for what I did. I feel ashamed of myself. I suppose I was jealous of you as well. Who wouldn't be? You've got everything. If I ever find out they'll regret it, I can assure you. It doesn't matter now, does it? The damage has been done. Yeah. I've been thinking, uh, how do you feel about somebody else managing your business affairs? Why, because of that stuff in the paper? Of course not, no. It's, it's, it's a time factor. I'm spending so much time in your affairs, I'm neglecting my own. You're embarrassed. Don't be silly. Are you trying to get rid of me? Don't be silly. I've got business problems. I'm in trouble. Anyway, we, we said at the beginning we'd think again if it didn't work out. Yeah, but it has worked out. Well, yeah, that was in the short term, but things have moved on and... You've got to start planning for the future now. I can't commit myself to that. Say, yo, what you gonna do? I got this dream and I make it come true. I believe in magic, I believe in soul. I believe in miracles and I believe in gold. Okay, uh, let's go again straight away. People say, yo, what you gonna do? I got this dream and I make it come true. I believe in magic, I believe in soul. I believe in miracles and I believe in gold. Got it. Okay, let's go again. Come on, jazz it up. Jazz it up. Okay. Say, yo. 
four bars, baby. Relax, take your time. Come on, kick it. People say, yo, look, I'm sorry, just forget it, all right? Dad? Steady. You get covered in it. What's the matter? Are you all right? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, I like the door. Is Sarah and Lisa in? No, they're still at school. Uh, netball practice or something. She hasn't changed her mind. She's still as stubborn. Says she won't see you until you've packed it in. Carol! Carol! You're Roxy, wait a minute! Aren't you ever going to stop? Carol? in ages. I suppose you have to keep fit and go to bed early now. Aren't you in training? Oh, stuff training. Anyway, what's it matter? I've been suspended for the next three games. I read about that thing with you and Victor Graves. Yeah, I bet they read about it in China. Was it true? Yeah. Is he nice? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Mum was right, Kay. I should have gone to university. What are you talking about? You're a star. I'm going to apply again. See if they'll accept me next year. But why? What's gone wrong? Oh, I don't know. It's just everything. I'm just sick of it. But you can't pack it in now. You'll never forgive yourself. But I don't know if it's what I want anymore. Listen, Roxanne. You've got to go on. It's important. You don't know what an effect you've had. You've opened things up that weren't possible before. There are girls here who don't know the first thing about football. They watch you on television, follow your career. They nearly blow the roof off when you score a goal. You're doing it for them. I don't know what's happened, Roxanne, but you've got to go back and sort it out. You show them. You can do it. I know you can. Just remember, there are lots of us cheering you on.
I see Roxy's not playing. No, she's still under suspension. She'll be back for the cup tie next week. Oh, pity. I was looking forward to seeing her. What's she like? Nice. There's a nice uh, kid there. I think Eddie finds it a bit of a handful at times. I wouldn't mind a handful like that. You wouldn't consider selling her, I suppose. Sell Roxy? No way. That girl's going to be mega. I've heard rumors, Victor. I hear you're having problems. What problems? Cash flow problems. Disposing of a few assets here and there. That's pure speculation, will I mean, I can come... Devlin, you're useless! Call yourself a striker, you couldn't strike matches. How's the Brunswick project coming along? Oh, it's terrific. Uh, should be the most exciting leisure project in Europe. Oh, I agree. If you ever get it finished... Oh, come on, put your back into it. Couldn't trap a bag of cement. Let me put something to you, Victor. What would you say to me taking a 50% stake to recapitalize your company? I don't know you've got short-term problems, but you built up a sound company, Victor. A joint venture with us wouldn't do you any harm at all. Be a good fit for both of us. Yeah, I like the sound of that, William. Uh, makes sense. Just one condition, Victor. What's that? You sell me Roxy. She's part of the deal. <laughs> no way. I can't do that. I need to rebuild. We're out of the cup. We're nowhere in the league. I need a big signing. And she's the one I want. I can't do it, William. She's not for sale. You mean you just decided it behind my back? I had no choice. I, I can't explain it. Anyway, it'd be a good move for you. I mean, they're, they're a rich club. They've got Picasso in the boardroom. Blue period. You bastard. Kirtley wants to build a team around you. You'll be able to state your own terms. You'll be the highest paid footballer in Britain. You'll be made. Business, that's all it is to you, isn't it? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, God, I was so stupid. I trusted you. I thought you did it for me. I did do it for you. You know that. You did it for the money. What's the matter what I did it for? It worked, didn't it? You're the first woman footballer. You're rich, you're famous. There are girls out there playing football with boys now because I revolutionised the whole bloody game. What more do you want? I'm not going. What? You have to. The deal's been agreed. You can't make me. I've signed a two-year contract and I'm going to see it through. I don't have two years. I don't have two months. Listen, Roxy, I can't go into details, but if you don't sign with Curtly, I'm ruined. Wiped out. Is that what you want after all I've done for you? Listen, Victor, I'll tell you what I want. I want to get back in the team and I want to win the cup. I think that's the best way I can pay you back for all that you've done for me. We're going to go and do some shooting practice. I've just been to see the boss. He said he's not going to offer me professional terms next season. Oh, Simon, I'm sorry. What are you going to do? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. It's the only thing I've ever really wanted to do. How much? Five million. We'd have enough to buy two or three top-class players. Still have money in the bank. I'm surprised you're prepared to let her go after all the trouble you took in the first place. Well, I'm trying to be dispassionate and do what's best for the club. And uh, now that Greg's scoring regularly, I think uh, we could afford to release her. Well, let's have her in, see what she says. Well, I already mentioned it to her and... Uh, well, she's not keen to go while we're still in a cup. I can't blame her. She wants to win a cup medal. There is one way. Um, if uh, Roxy felt she had no future here, if she felt she didn't figure in your plans, she might leave then. You don't have to pick her. 
Victor. Are you trying to tell me what team to pick? Eddie, Eddie. If I ever question your judgment on team matters, you know how highly the board and I think of you. And I'm sure when your contract comes up for renewal at the end of the season, your services to the club will be highly rewarded. Plenty of calling and helping each other out, especially in defence. Remember, league form counts for nothing in the cup. This is a one-off and anything can happen. Okay, win this one and we're one game away from Wembley. Let's go and win it. Excuse me, isn't Roxy playing? She's sub. I think she's more interested in fashion than football these days. What do you think you're playing at? What did I say about marking? There was nobody within a mile of Jackson when he scored. You could have got a pair of binoculars out. You still wouldn't have seen a defender. Now, come on. We've got 45 minutes left to pull this out of the fire, but it's up to you. How much do you want it? You're gonna let yourselves down now that we're so close?
10 minutes. They're not going to bring her on, are they?
Come on then, Rex, let's go get some tea. Come on, lad. 